What intervals is this function increasing or decreasing? So y is equal to x squared minus 9. And so in this problem right over here, we're required to find the interval as of which this function is increasing. We're also required to find when this function is decreasing and when the function is neither increasing nor decreasing. One way to solve this is to actually draw the function. But as we will see, there will be more complicated uh, functions. And so we know we need to know how to solve this algebraically. And so we have to differentiate this function. And so we're going to get 2x. So this is the derivative of this function at any point. Okay? And so we need to know when this function is increasing. And so we have to plot this derivative. And so if you pl if we plot it, I'm not going to be very accurate here, but I'll guess it's going to be a straight line and its slope is going to equal 2. Now looking at this uh, function right over here, we can understand that this function is positive in this area and it's neither increasing nor decreasing here and it's negative here. So in this area, okay, y dash is positive and in this area right over here y dash is negative. Now why do we care about the derivative of a function being positive or being negative? Because the, the answer is when the derivative is positive, okay, that means the original function is increasing. So from x greater than 0 here this interval, since the slope is positive, okay, since y dash is positive, okay, y increases, its value increases. And since here, y dash is negative, function y decreases. And the slope right over here at x equals 0, now we're now talking this we talked here we talked here now we want to talk in this area right over here at x equals zero since y dash is equal to zero there is no increase there is no decrease and so there is no difference and this is what calculus uh, people would say a critical point and so this is going to make sense once we draw it and so Let's try to draw this. And so if we draw the function x squared minus 9, we are going to get something like this. And this is going to be negative 9. And so the vertex is negative 9. And so the function here, as we've said, when x is greater than 0, it's increasing. Now look here, there's an increase. And when it is less than 0, the value is decreasing. And at zero, now you look at this point and you tell me, is there an increase? Of course, there is no increase and there is no decrease. And so this is x squared minus 9. And we were able to analyze the behavior of the function in terms of how its value actually moves.